guys, welcome back to my channel. I was looking at my planner and I noticed that it will be a year since I've posted my first video on YouTube. On my YouTube channel, it says that I started my channel on April 6th, but where I was at the time, it was April 7th. And I specifically wanted to start it on the 7th because seven is my lucky number. It's already been a year and I cannot believe it. Um, I did take a few months off in between, but it has been a year since my first video. So yes, yes, it's been a year. So in honor of this one year anniversary, I thought I would do a 50 random facts about me video. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a long one. So grab a snack. So without further ado, let's get started. My name is Sangeeta and I cannot tell you how many times like I've gotten different variations of my name. I've gotten Sangria, I've gotten Margarita. It's a di different letter. And I have no problem with like people like messing up my name. I know it's different, obviously. When people like, you know, try to learn my name, I love that because you're actually trying, but when people, like for example, I remember in, in school, like when they would like read out the roster and there was a substitute teacher and she literally was like, ew, why would you say ew about someone's name? The, the, what? You know, like I just, I can't take like the faces and like, oh yeah, I was not going to try and say that. Ugh. You know, like. Don't look disgusted at someone's name. That's their name. And it's not that hard. Sangita. Sangita. Like Samantha. Sangita. It's pretty much the same. But I absolutely love my name. I love unique names. And I especially love names with meanings. And my name means music. And my parents named me quite well because I am obsessed with music. I can relate so many things in life to music. Like I have a mu different song for every mood. If you look at my playlist, I have songs in every language, even languages I don't speak, like either the music or the person's voice or something will just speak to me and I just, I get obsessed with that song. And I have so many genres of music in my playlist as well. I love, you know, pop music, Christian music, country music, um, literally everything except like hard metal rock where it's like screaming and kind of demonic sounding. No. I am a black belt first degree in Taekwondo. And the person who inspired me to actually learn a form of self-defense was Jackie Chan. I grew up watching Jackie Chan films and my dad was always obsessed with Bruce Lee and I thought, how cool would it be to be a girl who could totally kick butt, you know? My eyes change color. They usually change color according to what I wear and it used to happen more drastically when I was younger but it's kind of slowed down a little bit but I have gotten some crazy colors in the past my favorite animal in the entire world is the elephant. I don't know, I've just always been obsessed with elephants. They're just so sweet and loving towards each other and uh, human beings when humans are nice to them. And I don't know, sometimes I feel like they have more compassion than humans do. My favorite color is royal purple. A specific, like really deep, velvety looking purple and I just, oh, I love it. I absolutely cannot stand scary movies. Speaking of things I hate, I hate bugs. I hate all bugs, ladybugs, butterflies, cockroaches. They're all the same to me, all of them. I, ugh. And not only do I hate bugs, but the bugs hate me. Okay, they know, they know my fear. They can sense my fear. I am always, always attacked by bugs. It's like a running joke in my family. Like every time, every time I can spot a bug, no one will notice it. It'll, it'll literally, 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 it will literally right, right in front of me. It'll, it'll just appear. It'll appear because it knows. I actually bought my first lipstick like for myself 
when I was 23 years old. I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten the comment that people have thought that I was like mean until they've talked to me. I guess I have like this face I don't know maybe I don't have like a very welcoming face I am like extremely painfully shy so I kind of stay to myself so maybe that's it um, my husband even has told me that he was like before I met you I was like she's gonna be mean you know <laughs> I don't know why I don't know what it is but once people talk to me they're like oh she's a little teddy bear I do not like cake or cupcakes. Like for my birthday, I definitely prefer like a cookie cake or cheesecake or something like that. But yeah, cake, cupcakes, hard candies, you know, I, I just, ugh. Like I mentioned before, I can be extremely, extremely shy, but I love to perform. I have performed a lot of dances and have done singing performances and stuff like that. I'm mainly okay to do those because when the spotlight hits you, you can't really see the audience. So that helps a lot, but I don't know. There's just this feeling that you get on stage and when you hear the applause, it's like, it's perfect. I am a total wimp when it comes to adventure, which is the total opposite of my husband. He was a Marine and he loves like all this adrenaline pumping activities and ugh. when I was little, I wanted to go to heaven so bad that I wanted my parents to legally change my name to Angel. I currently have two pets, technically. The first one is Sergeant my rescue puppy he just turned two years old um he is a german shepherd and he's so sweet so naughty but so sweet and the second pet it is actually my beta slash goldfish um he actually lives with my parents now his name is bruce from finding nemo you know the shark bruce is so big and so old. I don't even know how long we've had him. I remember that he had like, I don't know, like 10 other fish living with him. And each day, like a fish would disappear. And it turned out that he would eat the fish. I am a complete Disney fanatic. I love all things Disney. I've always been obsessed. And I feel like the older I get, the more obsessed I get with Disney. One of my most received compliments has to be that I am a good listener slash secret keeper. There has been so many times that people, and not just people that I know, but random, complete strangers come up to me and tell me their problems in life. They literally just vent out all of their feelings, then just get up and leave and it's happened to me so many times and i also take secrets very seriously unless you tell me to tell someone i'm not telling a single soul i think because you know the opposite has happened to me quite a few times so i know how it feels and i would never want to do that to someone else even though i am scared of adventure i love to travel I don't like the process of traveling, but I love seeing new places, experiencing the cuisine, learning the languages, you know, stuff like that I'm really into. And the one place that I want to travel to the most is Italy. I don't know what it is about Italy. I've just, I've always been drawn to that place. I don't know what it is. Maybe in my past life I was Italian, I don't know. I mean, I also, of course, want to go all over Europe. London, France, Greece, you know, Cyprus and all that. It's so pretty there. Ireland, oh my gosh. The place that I am most interested in learning about is Egypt. I've watched so many documentaries about Egypt, especially like their ancient times, like with the pharaohs and stuff. It's just so interesting to me. I can be a complete nerd. <laughs> when it comes to learning things, I like if it's not required of me, <laughs> like for school and stuff i i hate studying i don't i don't like studying but i love learning just complete random facts and like interesting things like like about different diseases and 
you know, facts from ancient history and just like the most random things. I, I love it. I remember in college, people used to call me Miss Randomology. Also, on the topic of being a nerd, um, I remember I used to watch the show House. Um, instead of sitting down and watching it and enjoying the show, I would sit down with a notepad and take notes on the different diseases that they were talking about. And then I would go and look them up and learn about the disease. That's what I did for fun. I don't like to talk on the phone very often. I also get very nervous about that too. I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but when I do finally talk on the phone, I cannot sit still. I have to be walking around. I don't know if it's like a nervous habit, but I, I physically cannot sit down and talk on the phone. I just, I have to be moving. And I'll be like tracing the entire room and I will not sit down until the phone conversation has ended and I've hung up. I am the type of person that has to read the book before watching the movie. I've broken that rule a few times because as you get older, uh, there are more textbooks in your life, so you have less time to read for fun, but I definitely prefer to read the book before watching the movie. A well-known fact about me is that I am technologically challenged. Oh, I feel like I was born in the wrong era because like everything is so technological and I just, I prefer, <laughs> oh my gosh, I sound so old. The good old days, like ebooks, I, I can't do ebooks. I can't. I have to have like the physical book in my hand. I have to flip the pages. I, I can't, I've tried so many times to read books like online, but oh, I hate it. I have always wanted to dye my hair purple. <laughs> and that like same like royal purple that I was talking to you about before. I've never dyed my hair ever in my life, so I'm like extra scared to dye my hair like a, like a crazy color. One of my favorite pastimes is window shopping. I love just walking around a mall or like home goods and Marshalls and like you know stores like that and it's a workout it's a hidden workout you don't realize how much you walk until the end of the day and your feet are killing you my childhood revolved around Barney Barney was like my life I just I was obsessed I was completely obsessed my room in my old house was head to toe dressed in Barney, like I had Barney curtains, Barney wallpaper, Barney everything. Up until we moved, like when I was in like ninth grade, which I mean, at that point I didn't even notice that I had Barney everything. It was just like always there. I never redecorated my house, but still, up until we moved, I had Barney in my house. I remember playing this uh, Barney video for my siblings. Um, my brother was like, I don't know, like a toddler at the time and I was like, oh, he's totally going to enjoy Barney, you know? And my sister was just a couple of years older than him. So I was like, they're going to enjoy it. It's going to be awesome. They're going to fall in love with Barney just like I did. But in the end, they ended up walking away after like the first 10 minutes. And I ended up staying and watching the whole video. I hate anything cherry flavored. Grape flavor. Grape flavor is where it's at. I also hate mushrooms ever since i found out that there are fungus it just grossed me out even more about mushrooms i've tried recently actually to incorporate mushrooms in my diet but it's been very difficult i grew up watching the parent trap and that movie inspired me to speak in a british accent and i thought the more i spoke in a british accent i would permanently get a British accent. It's not true because I've tried it, but I'm obsessed with the British accent. I love accents in general. There's just something about accents. That movie also made me obsessed with special handshakes. I have special handshakes with everyone close to me, especially my handshake with my little brother. It's it's pretty it's pretty epic. I have never been to a club or a college party. I guess I never took advantage of being in college. Like I mentioned before, I am a Pisces, so I guess that is why I am such a huge dreamer. I'm always like 
not just dreaming but like daydreaming i also have a little bit of hope that these mythical creatures are real i always thought that mermaids like eventually they'll find out that mermaids are real you know and i also remember watching princess diaries and as soon as it was over i literally turned to my mom and i was like is grandma a queen is she but uh my mom said no but i still have this hope i have this hope that she's a queen and that i'm secretly a princess <sighs> speaking of being a dreamer i have always wanted to be a mermaid i mean i know that's like almost every little girl out there you know wants to be a princess or a mermaid or something but i thought i was like destined to be a mermaid like when i grew up that's what i'm going to like form into a mermaid because especially when i found out that my birthstone was aquamarine i thought oh that's a sign that's a sign i'm going to be a mermaid and i was like that's perfect because that would be my mermaid name aquamarine video games stress me out my siblings have tried so many times to get me hooked on a video game but i just i get stressed out i have a thing for men in uniform <laughs> There's just something about a guy in uniform or a suit, but definitely a uniform that's just like, whoa, whoa. Like they instantly get hotter. I don't know what it is. A uniform or a British accent. Oh my gosh. And then if you combine the two, oh my gosh. That's probably why I married my husband because he's a Marine. But I haven't seen his dress blues since he proposed, so... I have always been the type to go against whatever is popular. For example, Friends, the TV show, I completely refused to watch it because it was so popular. I just don't like to go with the norm, I don't know. I've always been like that, I always wanted to be unique. Even when I was little and everyone was playing the violin, I wanted to play the viola. I love to collect things. I have. A collection of magnets of makeup <laughs> a collection of stuffed animals perfumes I mean I've collected everything I have always 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 wanted a big brother and I still ask my parents for a big brother and they're like it's a little too late even though I protested against watching friends I am now obsessed with friends I can literally relate anything and everything to friends. I always thought I was born in the wrong decade. Like for example, when I watch like old movies, I have like almost like this longing and you know, I feel sad because I miss those times, but I'm like, wait a minute, I was never around during those times. And my favorite era is like the 40s and 50s. I love the fashion and the makeup during that time. Oh my gosh. I absolutely hate loud sounds. I guess I have very sensitive ears, but fireworks and even like loud, super loud movie theaters and stuff like that, I'm just like always like, eh. I am most definitely a homebody. No, I just feel safest at home. I love to spend time by myself. I've just always been like that since I was little. I would just always keep to myself all the time. I love being alone, but I do not like feeling lonely. And there is a difference. I absolutely love to dress up. I love to wear like gowns and go to fancy places. Even though I would much rather stay at home, I still love getting dressed up and going somewhere. It's so much fun for me. And I also like getting dressed up as different characters. Um, I have a few videos that I've done in the past, like for Halloween and stuff. I don't know, it just makes my heart happy. I am most definitely a dog person. When I was younger, I thought I would grow up to be an Olympic gymnast. My passion was gymnastics. I was just so into it, but it ended up conflicting with my school. It's funny because my dad's dream has always been for one of his kids to be in the Olympics. He is like very athletic. Like he was like the captain of his basketball team and soccer team and everything when he was younger. And so he had this hope that yes, my daughter's gonna be in the Olympics. But then I stopped going for gymnastics and got into basketball and he was like, this is perfect, you know, for, okay, she's not gonna be in the Olympics for gymnastics, but she's gonna play basketball professionally. She can do it, she can do it. 
but that didn't work out either. So then my dad put all his hopes into my little sister and she was like really into volleyball and he was like, this is it. This is, this is it. This is the child that's, you know, going to be the professional athlete. I can feel it. And then my sister quit volleyball. <laughs> and so now his last hope is my little brother. And he's, he's still hoping and praying that he becomes like a professional soccer player. I absolutely love learning new languages. I'm obsessed with weird things. Um, let me be more specific. <laughs> I have always found like Ripley's Believe It or Not or Guinness Book of Records to be like so interesting. I love like world record breakers and stuff like that. I still have like all of my Ripley's Believe It or Not books that my parents gave me as gifts. I used to watch the show all the time and I also really like urban legends. Like I mentioned before, I am an absolute Disney fanatic but I have a special love for Mickey Mouse. He was meant to be my soulmate. As much as I love Mickey Mouse, that's how much I incredibly dislike Minnie Mouse. <sighs> I don't know, I just, mm. as soon as I see Minnie Mouse next to my man, Mickey, I'm like, nope. I am always the pink Power Ranger. I remember growing up, my parents got me this pink Power Ranger costume and I would wear that thing everywhere. Even when I went to visit my grandparents, that's what I wore. When I tell you that I am shy, oh, I can be so incredibly painfully shy. It's it, it gets a little ridiculous. It's hard to control. I don't know. I've I've tried. I've gotten a lot better. I have to say, I've gotten a lot better since like you know from when I was younger. But like even with YouTube, it took me over seven years of talking to myself and building myself up to finally post a video. Seven years i would talk myself into it one day and then the next day i'll be like no 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 what are you what are you crazy crazy what posting a video on youtube for everyone to see <sighs> no but i finally did it all right guys so that's it for this 50 facts about me video i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys learned something interesting about me and maybe we even have something in common let me know down below if we do please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye